Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, kids. It's your auntie. I'm ready for action. I'm ready. I know. Be a nice boob shot there. I know it's late for the East Coast, but um, hi Pam. Uh, I had anticipated a lot of trick-or-treaters and so I scheduled this for late because last year we ran out of candy. This year, we only had four, what, four kids, six kids. So I could have done this a lot earlier, but, but here we are. I'm in my, I'm in my, uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like naughty nun, like you tell me, like what, like what, what are we doing here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I am, but I'm here. I'm here. So, oof, I'm gonna straddle my coffee table. And I've got my crystal ball. Yes, I actually have a crystal ball, it's real. I've got, no, I'm just gonna put it on the table. I've got my crystal ball. I've got my pendulum. Hi, Gail. And we're gonna have an old fashioned Halloween seance. We'll see where the night takes us. We've had a lot of requests for, um, Frida Kahlo a lot for Frida so we'll see we'll see but what we're gonna do is um, my mom used to have seances at the house hi Doreen uh, every Halloween we got to have our friends come over and then my mom would do um, we do a seance I mean we get into the living room and you know the living room was not used except for special occasions and the seance <laughs> and the Halloween seance. So we get around the fancy table, squeeze in as many of our friends as we could, get chairs from the kitchen, you know, squeeze them around the fancy dining room table in the, in the fancy living room dining room and light a couple of candles and my mom would lead us in a seance. This is my childhood, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna do an old fashioned Langston seance with fizzy water. So, you guys are going to participate in this, okay? This is not just a watch thing. You're going to do this with me. We're doing it. So, we're joining virtual hands. You're in here. You're in, imagine you're in my living room. You're in Auntie's house. This is, I'm going to do this like my mom used to do. Are you guys ready for this? Make sure both feet are on the floor. Eventually, I'm going to put my hands down, but right now we're joining virtual hands. We're going to start the seance. We are going to... Oh, Joan Crawford, another good one. We are going to center. We are going to ground. We are going to request a white light circle of protection around this group. Let no one but beings of light with the best intentions come through. Let no one who is not in the highest frequency of love come through. Mm. Oh, my hands are already tingly. Hmm. 
All right. Woo! You guys, I can feel you holding my hands. I swear to God, I can feel you holding my hands. Frida Kahlo. Paging Frida Kahlo. Did she speak of uh, like a mestizo patois or something? Because this is not, this is not anything I can understand. Like immediately, like I'm just getting like angry, like snappy, snappy. No, she's fully present. Like I think when we were already mentioning her name like earlier in this, in this broadcast, she was like, yeah, bitch, I'm coming. She is talking a mile a minute and I'm starting to get like a shirt here. Oh, you're building a journal called Frida right now. I love that. Frida Kahlo, if you're here, can you give us a sign? Okay, now I want to go back to Houdini. Are you both here? Jesus. All right, we're getting the pendulum out. Here we go. Oh, she's berating me. Okay, okay, so she's berating me. All right, she switched to English. I swear to God, there was some kind of a, it wasn't, um, it wasn't Spanish and it wasn't anything else I recognized she was speaking in at first. Um, she's, okay, she's berating me. Um, this is your gift. This is what you choose to do with your gift. She's giving me like the raised eyebrows. She's like, really, this is what you're doing with yourself? Yeah, this is what I'm doing with myself. Oh, okay. She's with a woman. She's, she's, I think it must be her sister. I think it's her sister. She's with a woman. She's, it's not, it's not somebody she was like involved with. It was, it's gotta be the sister. I don't think she likes me. She just said it's irrelevant whether I like her or not, but I don't think she likes me. You know who I want to go to next? James Dean. But I'm not picking up. This is weird. I want to go to James Dean. Yeah, Frida was intense. Um, but he's not, this is weird. It's, he's not here, here. But I feel like this is weird, but I feel like he wants to be read. So I feel like he's not here. He's not going to talk, but I should like read on him in a way, if that makes any sense. Okay. So this is he was funny. He was a funny guy. He was a really funny guy. Um, he had to get to know you before he would be funny. Like, he had to get to know you. Like, he was shy. But once he knew you, he was, like, he was funny. Slept with men and women both, but definitely preferred men. But he did, he definitely, maybe, maybe he tried a few women and he was like, this is not for me. But, um... He definitely slept with both. Knew he was going to die in a car crash. Knew it. Didn't give a shit. I mean, like, knew it and was like, whatever, shit happens. Yeah, he's not here, but, but wants to be read upon. So I don't know what that is, but... He read. He liked to read. But, um... Uncomplicated books? Like, nothing too complicated. He, so he had an affinity for women. He liked to be around women, but he wasn't technically attracted to them. But he felt, I think, more comfortable with women than with men. The men were always trying to take advantage of him. Like whether it was whether it was um, romantic or sexual or otherwise, he always felt like men were trying to take advantage of him. Weird relationship with the dad, very weird, just a weird relationship with the dad. I don't know what this is. 
like he wasn't there or or wasn't mentally there. I don't know. There's, but it's weird. But there's like neglect here. There's neglect here. I want to say this actually was a gift from my great aunt who was a nun who made this. And I feel like I should be pretty happy with what I'm doing with it right now, to be honest. A lot of nuns in the family, by the way. It's made of rose petals, FYI. All the red beads, they're rose petals. Oh, I'm just sort of being, you know, driven along here. We want to talk about Fatima? We want to talk about Fatima? Really? This is a seance. We're supposed to be seancing. No, we want to talk about Fatima. Okay, let's do it. That's a noise. Did y'all hear that one? That was a good one. Sacred ground. So I'm getting it sacred ground. It was always sacred ground. This was... Um, oh, this is interesting. Oh, you guys heard it. Good. Good. We're having Richard Pryor in the kitchen noises. Again, I don't hear these at night. I don't hear these like when I'm in here alone and it's quiet. When I'm home alone and it's quiet. I don't hear these noises. So they're telling me this. Um, okay. Wasn't the Blessed Mother that appeared it was somebody else, ancient goddess. Yeah, yeah, okay, everybody's hearing it, okay, good. Ancient goddess, they're telling me it was an ancient goddess, so not technically Mother Mary, I suppose. More ancient, or, the, or it, was the holy, it was the holy ground of an ancient goddess, apparently. Like the, the kids got it wrong, like they got it wrong or something. I don't remember the story. The three kids, right? Blessed Mother appears. She said she's going to appear three more times, two more times. I don't know. There's there's like, there's the, the, the secrets. They were going to tell the secrets, right? Like, like what in the hell? I don't remember the story, but they're telling me they got it wrong. Okay, this is weird. Okay, she wants to talk about the Vatican, so we're going to talk about the Vatican. I, I inadvertently called in my great aunt the nun <laughs> by wearing her rosary beads as an accessory to my weird costume. Okay. She wants to talk about the Vatican. Do they have really important secrets? Oh, I like the questions. Um, <sighs> oh, no. So she wants, she's telling me the corruption goes bone deep and it's money laundering. There's money laundering here. There's money. She's saying there's, there's ill gotten funds going back for centuries. They would rob people. Um, you love the Vatican. That's great. She said, telling me they would rob people. She says, and she's like being old fashioned. She says they were highwaymen. Um, I can't believe sister thief. Okay. I mean, Hey lady, we can do this all night. Um, she said there's no credence to the whole Pope. There was a female Pope thing. She's like, nope, that never happened. Never happened. But but she says quite a few Popes were gay. And she's very, like, speculative about it. Um, oh, they have prophecies. Okay, so they do have... Okay, so she's showing me this. Oh, she's telling me occult stuff. Occult stuff. She says they're very heavily into the occult. It's not all bad people. She really wants everybody to know that. She's like, it's like she's so many people really wanted to do good and, you know, tried to do their best. And, and you know, it, it is a place that people can find spirituality. She really believes that. I don't, by the way. Um, but she really does. There it goes again. Yeah, exactly. Patriarchal, misogynistic, subjugate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's saying they have had their hands in things that we don't know about. And then she's showing me the painting, um, this is weird, Guernica. She's showing me Guernica for some reason. But there's no explanation. Just flash. Here's Guernica. Literally 
Yeah, like, I think, like, wars or genocides even, but this is, like, she says that this is not now, but this was way earlier. Well, early, she's going early enough. Like, early 1900s. She says she's so angry about those men, those men, those men, those men. Yeah, she says it's corrupt like the mafia. She's literally calling it the mafia. All right, so let's see if we can get Carrie and Debbie. That would be Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. No, I mean, she's just saying, you know, this isn't the meal that this life isn't the meal. She's like, she's like, I'm not even into the full meal. I'm only into the appetizers. She's wait till we get to drinks. <laughs> wait till we get to dessert. Wait till we get to the main course. Um, yeah, so she's saying that she wants everybody to know that like that, like life here, this is just, it's just the, the tiniest bite. It's the amuse bouche. It's, it's, um, it's just a piece, piece of the meal. She wants, no, she's saying that, that, she's like, I want them. She doesn't even really know. I know, it's really nice, right? She doesn't even really know where she is or where she's going. I'm sorry, but it's true. This is what you're giving me. Um, she's like, and that's how I was in life, too. Um, well, she's, she's saying not in life because she's saying we're all still in life, but she's like in, in, in that place, in that place. She says it's hard down there. And she's saying not down there like she's looking up like she's in heaven, you know what I mean? But like down there in like degrees. She's telling me degrees. This is interesting. So I think it's, you know, six degrees of separation kind of a deal. Because um, she's saying degrees. But she's like, I don't really know what the fuck's going on. Um, she's like, I wasn't shown. She's going this because I was asking her about her past lives. And she's like, I wasn't shown any of my past lives. She's like, I don't know who's running the show. Um, she's like, I just died. She said to her, it feels like 10 seconds ago. So it doesn't feel like all this time has passed. Um, yeah, Bobby's here. All right, Bobby. So, okay. So, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're, we're friends now, apparently, Bobby Kennedy and I, the deceased Bobby Kennedy and I. Um, he says it's going to be revealed who killed his brother. He says it's going to be revealed definitively. And it wasn't, it wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald. Patsy. He's telling me he's a Patsy. Oh, interesting. He's saying there's a cover-up on top of a cover-up. So he's so Jack Ruby wasn't a part of the original cover-up. That's what he's telling me. He says it's going to be revealed once and for all. Definitively revealed. He's telling me that. He's telling me it's going to be definitive. He says within the next, I think it's three years, within the next three years, but maybe sooner, he's telling me it will be definitive, definitively revealed who killed my brother. And he's saying Jackie already knew. So she didn't know at the time, but she knew. Like, she knows. Okay. Oh, yeah, Scorpio, Mercury, retrograde. It's true. Oh, Hello. Oh, you can't see that far down. That's good because we almost got R-rated. So he's saying Marilyn was a sweet girl. He's saying she was she was innocent too. So he's telling me him and the brother, uh, or uh, his brother and, and Marilyn, innocent, innocent, innocent. That's what he's saying. They were innocents. Like, he's saying, like, I, I was idealistic, but I wasn't innocent. Like, I, I got stuff. I knew stuff. Um... He's saying that Jack, he's calling her Mary, which is weird. Um, they were like babes in the woods. He's like, they didn't get it. Like, he's like, he's saying that, that they wouldn't, Schrodinger's hug, right? Um, they wouldn't have survived this world anyway. He goes, and maybe I wouldn't have either. But he's saying, like, I wasn't innocent. Like, I got the way things worked. And they didn't. They were very, they were, she, he said she was, and he said, I knew her very, very well. Oh, then she was found dead. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, he's saying I knew her very, very well. Marilyn, he's talking about Marilyn. He says she, she was a shy girl who never 
felt that pretty. All right. Well, this is me saying to you, happy Halloween, my darlings. And um, next year, we're going to do the seance. We're going to do it earlier, okay? We're doing it earlier. Forget the trick-or-treaters. The little bastards didn't show up this year. So next year, there's no candy. There's no candy. I'm going to put a sign on the door next year. I'm going to be like, you didn't show up last year. You ain't getting shit. To see the entire hour and a half seance video, trust me, you missed a lot, <laughs> uh, you can head on over to Patreon and become a patron at the $10 tier, and that will get you not only this video, but every single video at the $10 tier, the $5 tier, and the $2 tier. So if you've never been a patron, that's a lot of content to cover for the last two years. If you're at a lower tier on Patreon, and you've never been to the $10 tier, then you're going to get Drunk Tarot. You're going to get all the $10 stuff that's been accumulating for the last however many years. I hope you come and see me if you're not a patron. Even if you don't want to be a $10 patron, you can come and be a $2 patron and join us for live streams and Sunday brunches and all sorts of wonderful things. All right, my darlings, I will see you later. I want to say a very big thank you to our main sponsor for this program. It's NGT, LOL. Thank you, my darling. You are wonderful.